so here we have another quick tip which is going to be using the cache node here okay so we've got the cache node and this all this is doing this is directly caching all your frames into memory okay um, and it's used because it's not reliant on the disk as much um, and just forcing everything to into memory so you get real-time feedback here um, and you know you're getting kind of real-time feedback which is great it's fine um, but other times when you're playing back it's kind of a bit choppy and you're just not getting the performance you need okay so in that case you got a few different options one of the things you could do is you could run a flip book okay but sometimes a better option um, is to just cache this using this cache node here okay um, and then once you cast you have the option then to kind of play it back in real time and look at it from all different angles um, because it is cached in 3d at that point okay yeah. once we're happy with that and we no longer need to like change anything upstream here from this point if we're not changing anything then as soon as we drop down this file cache node it's going to read everything directly from memory and write those files directly to disks and that process is almost instant so that saves you a step of um, re-simulating